This is still Ohio Sports Zone. This is a little after the show uh, fun. Shane, we're usually talking about hard sports news, but I want to blast into your past. I want to ask you uh, about your favorite thing you've covered here at Ohio University. Uh, I guess it doesn't have to be sports, but just really your favorite thing you've journalistically had the, the pleasure, uh, the privilege to cover here at Ohio University. I mean, this, this shouldn't really be a hard one uh, for everybody at home, everybody who knows me, everybody who's been following the show. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think that the greatest privilege I've had on this campus has been able to, uh, you know, voice the Bobcats hockey team for the last couple of years. I joined uh, my sophomore year as a reporter, went through the ringer for a year, uh, did the uh, gritty and dirty mm -hmm. uh, for AVW Productions and AVW Presents Hockey. Uh, and I really gained a lot of experience. Uh, went through a great ride with the Bobcats. Uh, last year, I was able to get the play-by-play -play job. Uh, Alex Utano, who had preceded me, uh, graduated, and uh, I kind of just slotted right in. Honestly, I didn't think it would be as easy as it was uh, to procure that job. And it was kind of crazy to me because I see all these kids here at this university covering journalism, uh, covering the Bobcats football team, covering the basketball team, but nobody wants to go cover hockey. No. I, can't, I can't figure it out, folks, to be honest with you. It kind of makes me upset uh, because this is one of the best sports teams we have on this campus, a perennial top five team in their league, uh, somebody that went to the national championship last year, somebody that could win the national championship this year, uh, and you get the fanfare uh, from everybody around town, and you get the fanfare from uh, the kids on campus, but at the end of the day, you can't get the kids who want to come in and cover this team because it's not NCAA. And I think that's a problem, and I'm really privileged that I've been able to get to know these guys over the last couple of years, that I've been able to step right in uh, and get some great experience. Uh, we've seen so many classic hockey games. Yeah, here. we really have. Uh, I wasn't there for the one that I, I'm sure you might mention later on. Yeah. Uh, that Tyler Harkins goal with 0.1 seconds left. That's incredible. Uh, something that I, I didn't witness, but you know what? It still tickles my uh, heartstrings a little bit when I think about it. Uh, but yeah, I think that what I've been able to do with Ohio Bobcats hockey the last couple years uh, really is going to be uh, that kind of defining moment for me at Ohio University, something that I will always cherish regardless of where I go in the future, regardless if it's uh, covering hockey or regardless if it's uh, laying floor. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, folks. Uh, I, I care about the guys on the team. I care about doing a good job for them. Uh, I care about uh, giving their fans at home and their parents at home a nice broadcast that they can be proud of and that uh, they can enjoy when they want to watch their kids. And I think that uh, you know we have done a good job despite a lot of problems, uh, a lot of technical problems, a lot of personnel problems, uh, trying to get people on staff. But we have done a really good job, uh, our producers, uh, from everybody at the top, Andrew and uh, Ryan, to uh, you know the bottom totem pole, have done a great job of sticking together uh, and continuing to do our best every single week. So uh, you know what? I know that is a little bit self-centered, to be honest with you. It's not, it's not a moment, but it's something I really want to talk about. Yeah, and, uh, of course. It's something that I'm really passionate about. So uh, that would be mine. I think covering Ohio Bobcats hockey has definitely been my favorite moment here at Ohio. The fastest game on ice, who doesn't love the great game of hockey? Our buddy Dave Holdren says his favorite Ohio Bobcats moment was double OT hoops win uh, over Ray Meyer and DePaul back in the day. He says he was there at Danny Knee. It was a blast from the past. Don't hear that name every day. He was coaching the Hunter Green and White. I have a couple moments that I'll go through real quickly. Uh, 2012, this football team started out 7-0. They ascended all the way up to number 23 in the AP poll. My father uh, drove an RV down from Columbus. You're actually able to park an RV at the convo. They unfortunately changed that rule. Uh, camped out, tailgated in the RV. Uh, everyone had a great time. Also that season, 2012 split football season, it's very special. Uh, of course, Ohio going into Happy Valley and beating Penn State. Everyone remembers Russ's call of uh, Tyler Tendleton to Dante Foster to seal that game. Ohio would go on to win the Independence Bowl that season. So I would say just the 2012 football season as a whole and just going down there with my dad and getting to check out that 7-0 uh, that start. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll just hark on that point really quickly uh, because – that was the first time I really got a taste of OU sports. Uh, I became interested in going to OU my sophomore year of high school, uh, strictly because of journalism. And I remember watching that game um, on my couch, eating eating some popcorn, some having, a, having a great time. And I was like, you know what? This is it. You know, I don't care if it's not Ohio State. I don't care 
if it's not Penn State, uh, you know, it might be smaller, mm -hmm. uh, but we are uh, greater Home than, nice. than the sum of everybody else's parts, though. I think that Ohio is really a, a special place, and they hold a special place in my heart. Another special 2012 moment was obviously the men's basketball team going to the Sweet 16. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about that. Obviously, that's my, probably my favorite thing that's happened, but I was in the building for homecoming that year as well. They retired the great Bobcat, maybe the greatest Bobcat of all time, depending on who you ask, in terms of the men's hardwood. Gary Trent's number went up, completely sold out, 13, 14,000 people in the convo, play in Miami, had a sweet hype package. It's still on Ohio Bobcats TV. I watch it sometimes. Uh, I remember it. At, I had to sit uh, top couple rows in the convo, if you can believe it or not, for those of you who go to basketball games these last couple years. Not quite, not quite the same, but that was a special team. DJ Cooper, I mean, he could throw it in from the O. Uh, Walter Offit is a grad assistant in Chattanooga now, I believe. Nick Kellogg, all-time leader in three-point field goals here at Ohio University. Clark Kellogg's son, Reggie Keeley, and John Smith switched off of that forward position at Evo Baltic from Kansas City, Missouri. 6'9", but played taller than that. It was a special basketball team to me. And then, of course, um, you mentioned earlier, in the season. We'll have to throw some B-roll over this yeah. as well so people can see what we're talking about. But I was actually calling a hockey game by myself, which is an experience. That's my bad. Sorry. In itself. 0-0 uh, the whole game. Uh, it's winding down, getting ready to head to overtime. 5-4-3. And I, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. Tyler Harkins went from about the worst angle in hockey to about a 45-degree angle from below the goal line uh, to the right goal post. Somehow banks it in off the Lindenwood goaltender. Ohio wins. One to nothing, the whole building uh, goes crazy. Sounded like the roof was going to come off for just a moment, but I mean, it, it was special. So, I guess in terms of things I've covered, I would say that hockey game, but in terms of all around memories, uh, 2012 basketball, specifically 2012 homecoming against Miami, and 2012 uh, homecoming against Akron and football, very special teams, very special to us. And hopefully, more special memories are upcoming here that you can view uh, documented footage of and analysis here on Ohio Sports. So we want to thank you all for watching this week. You can follow me on Twitter at Ethan Graham OFZ. You can follow Shane on Twitter at DazDaz73. Daz that is D-A-Z, D-A-Z 73. We got hockey this weekend, Friday and Saturday night. ABW presents hockey, playing Oakland. Going to be huge. You do not want to miss it. Give it a watch if you can't make it out to Bird Arena. For Shane Dason, I am Ethan Graham. This is Ohio Sports Center.